Hey folks, in this video we're using a straight that is brand new to the den, Vanderhagen Shave Butter and Simpsons Trafalgar T3 Brush. Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I'm absolutely thrilled to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, like I said in the little intro, we're using a brand new straight razor to the den. Um, I ended up getting it off a of guy's solace. And it is this one. It's got black bone scales. But the cool thing about it is, is if you flip it around, the black bone with this little spade symbol inlaid and that is bone as well my girlfriend thinks it looks like mother of pearl but guy says that it's bone so i'm going with the bone and then again it could be mother of pearl the blade she can see is a round point and is a 15 16 blade the razor is a free door uh, yeah free door I forget the exact name of it, but it is made in Solingen, Germany, and it is three-quarter hollow. And it has a number 76 on the blade. And back around here, it's actually got a set of keys, like skeleton keys, crossed over. Um, this is a heavy razor. I think this is the heaviest straight I own. And, of course... The, when I find it, uh, I had it here a minute ago. Oh, it's right here. And Vanderhagen Shave Butter. And my brush I got from Dennis. Oops, hang on guys. The brush I got from Dennis and it is a Simpsons Trafalgar T3 synthetic brush. Really good brush. At least I think this is the T3. I'm pretty sure. But white, fake ivory or faux ivory. So let's go ahead and let's get lathered up and see how this razor does. Now, like I said, I didn't have time to ask my girlfriend if the instructions said you just apply it to your face or if you can add it to a brush. So, I'm going to get my brush here wet, add some of this, and we'll sit there and see if this stuff lathers up like a cream. Where did I set it? Right here. Give it a good shake, so just in case. Oops, got quite a bit there. Probably more than I need, but you know. It is what it is. So, let's see. It's going to get sent to it. I have like six days growth. No, I believe this stuff. Yeah, this stuff you just rub on your face. So, we'll see how it works. It's got a good scent. I like it.
Ah, dang it. I done forgot to... Um, what do you call it? Use the pre-shave cube. So, now let's take the free door. Get a little damp. I have not stropped this because guy always strops razors after he's done honing. down anyway so the story on this blade is that uh Anyways, I sent three razors into Guy for him to, you know, clean them up, hone them. And, um, one he just absolutely could not hone, which was the little one that I said in my Christmas haul was a smiling blade. And, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but got six days growth. But, uh, and guys said, you know what? Those razors weren't nothing spectacular. So, just, uh, Just uh, don't worry about the cost. I also sent in a blade that Dennis sent me in that box that he sent me here recently. So, uh, guy said, don't worry about the cost. And I said, okay. Well, uh, What do you got? Oh, nice. As far as straight razors go. 
So, he said, I'll get back in touch with you. I said, okay. Sounds great. A couple of days later, he sent me a video, private video, because he doesn't do videos on YouTube anymore. I don't know if he's going to come back, but it doesn't sound like he is. So anyways, a little bit more of that shave butter here on my chin. So, um, he sent me a private video where he's using this free door. He told me the price. I was like, wow. So, hi, Dottie, my dog. So, I say, okay, wow, that's a really good deal. Um, my girlfriend looked at the razor and she thought it was beautiful, which. I mean, psh, black bone scales with a with a spade symbol inlaid into it. Yeah, well, that's that's sexy right there when it comes to straight razors, guys. One moment. So, uh, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. And, um, so I was, he sent him out Monday, um, or Tuesday, I can't remember which. But anyways, he sends, sends him out. I don't know. And my neighbor from across the way, because our apartments, it's five apartments, and you have my two, which is one address, the one in the middle, another address, and then the one straight across from me that my mom lives in, the duplex she lives in, has another address. So, I'm thinking... The UPS guy probably saw my address and pulled up and thought, oh, okay, because there's an A, apartment A, which I live in an apartment A, but there's an apartment A on the one across across the way from me because it's the one duplex is a b the one in the middle is an a mine's an a and my neighbor right next door to me on the other side of the wall is a b so she's all I have a package for lands. Uh, 
I was like, oh, awesome. And of course, me, being mine, couldn't tell it was her, because I don't know her voice that well yet. But I said, oh, okay, thanks, and opened it up, and lo and behold was my four razors. Well, three that can be used. And then, a couple of weeks back, or, you know, sorry I haven't done videos lately, guys, but one moment. But, um, I, uh, was going to shave, do a video for you guys, and, uh, I had to pull up my shorts, and, uh, didn't feel like it that night, so I get up, next day, I was going to get up, and Go ahead and do a video. And um, you know, as I wake up that morning and my mouth felt like I had just been punched in the face by Mike Tyson or something. Turned out I had an abscess on my upper gum. And it was just killing me for a couple of weeks. And then, I go to the dentist. They give me antibiotics and everything and set me up for an old surgeon. And, um... Alright, let's see. But, um, because it was either go to an old surgeon and get seven teeth. Oh, wow. Nice across the green right there. Either get an old surgeon to pull them in one shot or let the dentist I saw pull them one or two at a time. I'm like, I ain't going to sit there and go back three, four times to get my teeth done. So, so um, I opted with the oral surgeon. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go full surgeon on that. And then, a few days after that, <laughs> my son, walking backwards, out front where the cars pull up to park,
walking backwards and um, he ends up taking a spill comes down on his right wrist or right arm at an angle breaks his wrist so they decide no we're not going to cast it because we uh there's a chance that might swell during the night and we really don't want to stick a cast on him and it swell up overnight. So. It's a really nice shaver. can see why guys love these larger blades. I'm really, really digging this one. I mean, my 5 8 diamond edge, that thing is just kind of small for my big ass hands, but I'll learn it. Hey guys, I did the across the grain, yay! But anyways, yeah, great, great shaving razor. Excellent shaving razor. So my son ends up breaking his wrist. We take him to the doctor and there's a clean break in the wrist, the radius bone. One moment, guys. So... We take them in to get it cast, and um, they find that the bones, oh yeah, the against grain, I'll take that right off, um, the radius bone, wasn't lining up and they couldn't get to line up and stay lined up mm. damn one of those teeth so uh they say we have to surgically set it with a pen so the next day because of COVID, they can only allow one parent in at a time. So, the next day, my girlfriend, 
she um, takes them down nice and early at like six. And, um, they gassed them in about 20 minutes or so. Woke up. His arm was in a splint because the pin isn't permanent. He's only got one pin, fortunately. And the pin is not permanent, so they needed to leave it splinted. That way it's still in two weeks, which will be next week, pretty much. Um, next week he goes in. They'll x-ray his wrist. And um, if it looks good. They'll pull the pin craw against the grain. They'll pull the pin and then cast his arm up. I ain't getting the kind of feedback off this that guy got in that video he sent me using this, but then again, <laughs> I'm I've not been straight razor shaving for that long compared to Guy. I've got a few months under my belt, and he's got multiple years under his. So, I don't expect... I don't expect it. I'll put the shout outs in before I do the album because I've got a few shout outs to do. So, are those shout outs I have to do? So, we'll do those after I do this third pass. And, um, so yeah, guys got a lot of time compared to me. Uh, still missing a few little spots. And, big news for me, guys, it looks like May 30th, my girlfriend will be driving me up to San Rafael, California, where I will train for two weeks, and I'll come home with my second guide. So, I'm looking... Really really forward to that. I gotta do a little touch up. I'll do that off camera though.
So yeah, May 30th, go get a new guide, which will either be a yellow lab or a black lab, golden retriever, or a crossbreed between one of the retrievers and, I mean, one of the labs and a golden retriever. Very nice. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. We'll of course try this razor again, out again, with a You know what, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the last little bit of this down with my, uh, what do you call it, my leaf on my upper lip, on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut away here. I'm gonna clean the rest of this up with the leaf. And then I'll be back to do the shout outs and uh, yeah, not good. This Vanderhagen shave butter is not the greatest for straight razor shaving, but uh, I'll go ahead and do the cleanups with my leaf and I'll be back to do the shout outs and then the alum. Anyways, see you in a minute. Anyways, guys, did the cleanup. And my skin feels nice after using that shave butter. Um, I just don't think it was the right type of uh, stuff to use for the straight razor. But it went through great. Anyways, so here's the new subscribers. Bond Wade 13. Thorsten Cromer. Stephen Lawrence and Robert Samuel. So let's go ahead and let's see how the whole face feels after I run some alum over it. Put this aside. Use my Maggots Elm Stick or Elm Block. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Not bad at all. Very, very, very minimal sting, minimal stinging. And there's a couple little spots. But, oh no, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm really, really happy with that. That is. That straight razor, not only is it one sexy, sexy SOB, but I mean, it's smooth, the edge is great, and the weight of it just feels so freaking nice compared to like a 5.8s. 
5 H, you pick one up, and it's like, yeah, you pick up this one, it's like, damn. So, anyways, let me go ahead and rinse off. Yeah, so my thoughts on the gear. Um, the brush, of course, was not need it, but the razor, you know, um, the, 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 um, Fedor from Solingen, Germany, worked really, really well, um, I got this smooth because I finished up with the leaf, but, I mean, I'm getting there, guys, I mean, pfft. I'd do just uh, with the grain and against the grain pass. And tonight I actually did across the grain pass. And if I would have had a better soap or something with better slickness, um, like a sterling or something, I, or K-Shave Works, um, and a number of others that I've got, I think it would have went ahead and it would have went through absolutely fine. And um, even though I used, what, the straight razor and the leaf both on my face. Very little stinging from the alum. So I'm real happy with that. Anyways, I'm not going to go ahead and do the post shave. Because. <clears throat> pardon me. Because I'm going to go ahead. Do a head shave. I'm going to use another uh, product. Uh, that Dennis sent me. Of course, I'll be using the leaf. But uh, for the lather, I'll be using a product that I received from Dennis and that you guys haven't seen me use yet. And um, and then we'll do the post shave in that video. Anyways, y'all have a great night, wonderful day. Um, stay safe, uh, get some great shaves. Likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. If you do subscribe, please go ahead and hit that notification or click on notifications click all that way you'll be notified whenever I go ahead and drop a new video my email address is in my about section if you need to contact me that way anyways y'all take it easy and I shall see all of you on the flip side Good boy bye bye now